Live Trance and Prosper. Hi, I'm Professor Brian David Phillips, and I'd like to welcome you to my home in beautiful Lodong, Taiwan. Yay! If you watch this video in a virtual reality headset, you'll be here with me in VR 180. Ooh, special! If you're not watching it in a VR headset, that's okay. On YouTube, it'll look weird, but it'll work, because it's magic. What's this video about? It's about auto-questioning, full-body auto-questioning, or rather body-based auto-questioning. Those of you who are my students for hypnosis or for trance work know that I love pendulums. Oh, look, a pendulum. <laughs> this is a nice one. I really like this one. It's got a... A galaxy inside. Uh, not on Orion's belt. The galaxy is on mine. Uh, necklace. Uh, this full body auto questioning is uh, essentially idiomotor movement to ask questions. When we use pendulums, the pendulum moves by itself. I'm not making it move, it's just moving because I'm willing it to move and I can will it to change direction change direction. I'm not consciously controlling that movement. I am unconsciously controlling it. Or if you prefer, the gods are doing it, or the aliens from the eighth dimension. Yes, I really am shooting this outside on the balcony, just because I can. And so we're going to have some background noise. Yay! Full body auto questioning is to use your whole body. Uh, my last video on this channel was about trance movement, where you allowed your body to just move on its own. Well, this is related to that. So, how do we do it? First, drop yourself into trance. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out my web pages, lots of, or this video channel. There's lots and lots of free resources and paid resources that teach you how to do all sorts of amazing things. But essentially, whatever works best for you, I'm just going to breathe in, breathe out, and drop myself. Now, if I have my hands at, uh, this way instead of down at my sides, I find this works best for movement. Uh, I can get my body to do the audio auto movement or idiomotor movement quicker. Just a couple deep breaths and just let go. Breathe in energy and breathe out and relax. And then once I'm relaxed, I just tell my hand to allow it to move. Now I'm not consciously moving my hand at the moment. It just seems to feel like it's moving on its own. Now, I've done this a lot, so of course I can get it to go quicker than many people. But with practice, you'll be great too. Okay, now how does this work? Alright, ask yourself some questions. If the answer is no or in the negative, your hand should move away from you. If the answer is in the positive or yes, your hand comes to you. Okay. Think of it as poison testing. And actually in the Middle Ages there were people who tested for poison in this way. The poison would go away from them and the good things would come towards them. Now here's the thing about that. You can only ask yourself questions you know the answer to. So if you don't actually know if something's poison, your unconscious doesn't know. And so you could end up poisoning yourself. So be careful with that sort of thing. All right, so ask a couple questions. Let's go with, am I a man? My hand comes to me. If you are in virtual reality, you see that, yes, it did indeed come toward me. Okay, so according to my unconscious, I am a man. Yay. Whatever. I'm a man, but am I gay? 
according to my unconscious, I am not gay. And that's okay. If you're gay, that's fine. Just, I'm not, um, according to my unconscious. Am I over 60 years of age? That was pretty quick. That was faster than am, or am I gay? Okay, and now those are calibration questions. These are actually questions I do know the answer to. So then you can start asking yourself questions that you don't know the answer to. In English, uh, I tell my students here in Taiwan that in English we have an expression. I'm of two minds about that, and sometimes you're not sure. And so this is a way of conversing with your unconscious in a very limited way. I might do something else with auto-writing auto or idiomatic writing uh, for more information for my unconscious. But let's just uh, do a couple questions maybe I don't know the answer to. Do I love my wife? I lied. I, I, I know the answer to that question. I'm making a video for millions of people to potentially see. Of course I'm not going to ask a question like that if I don't know the answer. Silly peoples. But you perhaps have questions about your relationships. Uh, should I go out with this guy or this girl? Should I buy this dog? Don't buy the dog. Buy the cat. Silly people. But that is essentially body, the use of the body, or the arms in this case, for idiomotor action and auto-questioning. You can use accoutrement. You can use stuff for this as well. You can use a pendulum. There's lots of pendulum videos on my channel. Check them out. You could also use things uh, that are important to you. For instance, a, a magical coin or amulet or talisman or you have a particularly powerful object ooh it's so powerful that imbues it with some sort of significance it's very it is nice if you can imbue with whatever you use imbue it with emotional significance there's a wonderful novel i love called it's actually a series of novels it's a trilogy that's more than three books <laughs> it grew by Piers Anthony, uh, the tarot series, and there's a wonderful scene where he goes in, he finds a sick boy, and the, the boy's culture, they, they believe in the Conan stories by Robert E. Howard. Yes, that Conan. And uh, Brother Paul, a Christian, um, as he goes in to talk to this very sick boy, he reaches down and picks up a stone. And he tells the boy that it was given to him by Conan. It's very significant. And the boy has, it puts emotional energy into it and feels better. If you do this sort of work, esoteric trance work, it's really great if you can imbue things with emotional connections. Because it is trance work. I mean, if you have a divine connection, that's great use that uh, but when you do so you do it in a way that has an emotional connection to yourself or with the person that you're guiding into trance for this sort of thing either way that is using the body to move and to communicate with yourself uh, in very limited fashion but it's great it works well i hope this has been helpful for to you um, please like subscribe comment share, check out my web pages. There's lots of free stuff there and lots of paid stuff. Ooh, yeah. Uh, but do check it out. Okay. For now, though, this has been Professor Brian David Phillips on the balcony outside my office in beautiful, absolutely beautiful Lodong, Taiwan. And I wish you well. Live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.